Hello, everyone. Ooh. Welcome to the Stream Void Podcast, episode 135. Oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Was that weird? No. Okay. I am Mikey T, and of course, across from me is Curb Stomp. Hi. You can find us everywhere under our respected monikers. Yes, ma'am. Uh, and you're listening to the Stream Void Podcast. This is a show about life and video games and everything in between. Uh-huh. And uh, what is that from? Life and video games? And no, no. The, oh, yeah. That uh, kid. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That kid that does the oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is it like weird science? Weird science. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what that's from. from my hand. Why don't people understand? Somebody, I, I somebody comment down below where that meme is from, where the kid's saying, oh, yeah, is from. Nah, I don't know. Is it an audio clip? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I know what you're talking about. I don't know if I've seen that meme. I just... Uh... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe if I saw it, I'd know what you're talking Everyone about. Everyone... Uh, what I, I did, oh, yeah, kid meme, and it's just the... Crack kid, kid on crack, full vine. Kid on kid, crack? Crack kid, yeah, vine. Yeah, yeah, crack kid vine. Yeah, boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hit him with the, oh, yeah, TikTok compilation. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I digress. How is work? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How was work? Uh, it was it was good. It was fine. I was mostly at the warehouse again, and then uh, I was in the store uh, in the office and uh what was it like in the office it was fine she seemed to be in a my good friend was in a seemed to be a good mood so she was not acting weird she wasn't annoying me really yeah i don't think she ate so that's always a good sign <laughs> whoa well she she was with her mouth open like she's, oh yeah i yeah. don't know dude um she it's very distracting because yeah. she's chewing with her mouth opening and then breathing through her mouth and like, yeah. And then she always <laughs> like has a drink and smacks her lips and yep. says, ah, yeah. So it's very annoying. I can't imagine what the whole house must be like when their whole family's <laughs> eating together. I highly doubt they eat that together. Yeah, probably not. But when they do, it's just like lip smacking for days. Yeah. With the way that family is, it's like they probably don't eat together at all. Yeah, they're probably. not friends after all. Well, her and her husband. Right? Yeah, I don't know about the kiddos, the kids. Yeah. Anyways, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it was just the uh, the two of us in the office. She put on some music, which I usually don't like, but she's turned down the volume, so it's not uh, like very so good. loud. Yeah. But she also had it on the station I like. Uh -huh. So I don't know. She must have been in a good the mood. The station you like? Yeah. The radio station? No, no, no. The xm or sirius oh, or whatever satellite radio there's no station. radio station i like <laughs> no, no. It's, i mean um, that's technically radio yeah i mean but it's um the new wave channel ah uh, yes like uh first wave yeah so it's a lot of like new order and the smiths and uh joy division and like just that kind of like new wave music which i like and enjoy yeah very good um I don't know if she enjoys it, but I don't give a shit, so whatever. <laughs> well, if she didn't, she would have changed it. Well, I do like the fact that I think she recognizes them and enjoys them, but she doesn't know them. Because uh -huh. another annoying thing she does is she will sing. Yeah. And I'll be like, just the original suffices. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to have your rendition, too. And thankfully, it wasn't on the coffee house one that she likes. That is atrocious. <laughs> I've heard the most worst stuff ever ever on that station the most worst the most worst, like acoustic versions of like diplo songs <laughs> yep oh my god i couldn't be i was i couldn't believe what i was hearing it i was... mean it's just like you're sitting in a coffee house and there's a live act but, up there but a guy str or, or a guy strumming on a guitar singing a diplo song yeah dude that's terrible <laughs> that is like they that's against the geneva convention i right? don't know it's, it's just like you're downtown vancouver you know you're feeling good you got your, you know, your Crocs on. And you're listening to you're an listening acoustic, to acoustic version of version. a DJ Snake and Diplo song? Yeah, just sipping your mocha frappa Ugh, latte that with sounds terrible, extra dude. cinnamon, whatever the fuck you put in it. You know, that's, it's terrible, believe me. <laughs> you know, worst. you're on Granville Street. You're just living it. You're living your best life. That's... Uh, anyways, maybe <laughs> if it was alive, I could be like, all right, okay, whatever. But just hearing it and being like, I know this song and this is just wrong. <laughs> It's a it's an affront against nature oh, against dude. your ear holes. It was definitely affronting against my ear holes. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, and I mean, like, there's some wacky stuff going on at the warehouse. So, like, the way our warehouse system works is, like, every day it generates an automatic order. Yep. For items that we sell out of, right? Or sell, like, we have a minimum. So, basically, like, let's say we sell this monster. We want 12 on hand at all times. Yes. So, we set it to be, when we sell down to six, it will order six from the warehouse. Yeah. Okay? But when it's on order, it doesn't order it again. So, if in between when they order the six, you sell your six... It won't order six more until the six that have been ordered have been picked and sent to the store. Oh. So that's fine because we do it every day. Yes. So it's no big deal. But like on whatever it was, Wednesday or Tuesday or Thursday, whatever day I was at the warehouse, I did my normal thing. And then it was like, he was like, oh, I didn't get to finish the orders. Could you do the other stores? Right. So, like, okay. So I, I go through the other stores and I get to the last store and there was like four or five days of unpicked items. <laughs> what? So I was like, okay, so if they sold out of any item along this time, they're not going to get any more. It was crazy. I couldn't believe it. So I told I told my uh, uh, one of the managers of another store, I was talking to him about something else. And he's like, uh, he's like, oh, yeah, I know. I know. It's like I have no I have no lawn chairs here. And I was like, what? And he's like, yeah, they never get picked, so I don't have any. So then he complained to the guy that works at the warehouse, who's the owner's son. Yes. The owner's son told the, the owner. And the owner called him and was like, oh, you know, he's trying over there. But like, <laughs> maybe you should just increase how many you have on hand. And then it'll... What a terrible idea. And then it'll work out. And he's like, it won't work out because... They don't get picked. <laughs> I could have a thousand here, but I wouldn't get them because they don't get picked. So anyways, it's like, what can you do? Right. I mean, it works out for me because then I get to spend more time in the warehouse. But <laughs> it's also when I look at it and I just shake my like for me, we have four stores, whatever. Yeah. And I would think like, oh, I didn't finish the one store yesterday. I'll start with them today <laughs> and then work my way through the other ones. So you, they're you, caught up. You would but no. think. He you starts at the same one and does the same order every day and just backs up the last store. And that store is the furthest one away. So when the orders do ship out, it takes at least a day or two to get up. Yeah. The, the Prince George one? Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Anyways. Did I go in there? I tried to go in there. When? Last time I was up there. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I went in there. I, the the one further south. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've been in because that, that, it's easy know, to get to yeah. and whatever. You also don't want to go downtown in Prince George. <laughs> Actually, you do. Well, you do want to go to you do. Nancy O's. Nancy O's is there. Just everything else downtown is just like, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I was like, oh, these guys are just doing smack right there. Oh, speaking of that, <laughs> speaking <laughs> of smack, this is not work related. But yesterday, we'll talk about it later. I came over here and we played some games. As I was walking over, I saw a guy riding a bike and smoking a crack pipe at the same time. Wow multitasking that's, dude that's, i couldn't uh, believe it i was like wow this crackhead's so talented <laughs> that's saving time yeah dude so crazy um you gotta be getting places but you also gotta be smoking crack well you get there faster yeah i would imagine <laughs> <laughs> uh but yeah that was my work week very good what about you uh yeah it was all right uh -huh. i mean i got yelled at again why oh because that's just how it goes <laughs> Tell That's just to, how it goes. Tell him to not yell at you anymore. Ah, it's all right. I have to explain to him why he was wrong. By yelling at him? <laughs> no, no, I don't yell at him. I'd be like, hey, just so you know, this is why you're wrong. Oh, yeah. And he's like, oh, yeah, okay. So <laughs> I should tell him to settle the fuck down when he starts yelling. Be like, settle down, buddy. His, his favorite thing to do is say that the kids are running the classroom. They're kids and they're oh, running God, the classroom. Oh, my God, is he 100 years old? He kind of is 100 years old. <laughs> that's his favorite thing to say and I'm, I'm like i was i was talking to like the group chat and i'm like hey boys yeah i'm gonna get i'm gonna get yelled at today and oh he's gonna say God. the kids are running the classroom a couple hours later comes into my office fuck just kids are running the classroom oh my god so what's his problem if he's got a problem with it why doesn't he do it so we have a place a thing called escalations where we go in and we do repairs on jobs that people have done yeah and there are appointments that need to be made with customers to do these escalations, right? Yeah. And so sometimes, you know, you have a couple hours of downtime in between escalations. Mm -hmm. And sometimes there's nothing to do at the shop. Yeah. So you have to fill your time mm -hmm. doing things. Yeah. 
And so he, there's one time he came in and one of the guys is getting the welder set up so that he can make sure it's working so that they can do re- minor welding repairs on yeah. big trucks. Yeah. And I guess he wasn't happy with that. I'm yeah. assuming that's the moment. Because one guy was just sitting down because he didn't have anything to do. Because mm-hmm. I had got them to start dumping stuff into the garbage bin, but the garbage bin was full. So you oh, can't yeah. dump anymore. You can't go above the line, otherwise they won't pick it up. Yeah. So he was just kind of chilling for like an hour until like the next escalation came up. Yeah. And I guess he wasn't happy with that. Time to lean, time to clean. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I mean, even if he was cleaning in there, just he would have just grabbing like, a broom. Like, <laughs> yeah. He wouldn't have been happy with that yeah. anyway. I'm assuming that's what it was because, yeah. yeah, there was, yeah, we just had a miscommunication on like the mo- Tuesday or whatever about a couple of things. Yeah. Because, you know, it's Tuesday. Yeah. It was, and Tuesday is a Monday because Monday was a holiday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're really busy trying to get people out the door, get everything sorted for the week. Yeah. And so, you know, sometimes information doesn't get passed along to the other managers. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, he wasn't happy with that either. <laughs> Man. So, like, I don't know, dude. Like, why doesn't he start off with, like, asking a question? Because uh, he just likes to go off the handle. And then like the previous night he had, I had messaged him about the situation and he was like, we'll talk about it tomorrow. I'm like, cool. I'm getting yelled at. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it sounds terrible. Yeah. It's, it's dumb. Uh, I'm glad to know it, it, it's cause the other manager that's in the building is his son. Oh yeah. Perfect. Golden boy. No, he gets yelled at too. So oh, okay. That's <laughs> yeah, okay. I, I learned about that. And I was like, okay, good. I'm not the only one getting yelled at. Like, why wouldn't you, like, <laughs> investigate a little more before you go off the handle? I don't know. Like, I don't understand I, That's that. what I do. But that's exactly what happened to me when he was, like, complaining about my communication. Yeah. It's like, all you saw was that I didn't CC them in on these fucking emails. <laughs> like, they need to get a CC about every little shitty email I do. <laughs> Right. Like, I'll show you all my 15 emails I did about this. Like, <laughs> why wouldn't you ask me rather than going off? Jesus Christ. He didn't yell at me, though. He wrote an email that pissed me off. <laughs> still, it's just like, come on. I'll think. take a I'll take a harshly worded email over getting yelled at. I mean, case. it still pisses you off because it's like, Jesus Christ. Like, I mean, anyways. Yeah. I don't like to upset the balance and just like yell at other people or yell at you know other managers because they're yelling at me yeah. i just take the calmer approach and then i'm like hey just so you know you're yeah, yeah. this is how it is there have been times when i've yelled at work but it's been like ridiculous like when i get screamed at by a crackhead because <laughs> yeah the cashier didn't take their backpack and i know the cashier saw them and didn't ask for their backpack and leave it at the door because the guy comes up to them, talks to them, leaves, walks away, comes back and talks to him again. And they still send him off. And then I got to go like, hey, sorry, you got to leave your bag at the till. And then like, <laughs> they didn't ask me at the door. Just fucking screaming and yelling. <laughs> so then I go, you ask for the bag when they come in. Like, it's not that hard. I saw you talk to him twice. They, they don't want the confrontation of having a... Ask a cracky for their bag. They know if the crackhead says anything, they call manager. Then we talk to him. Yeah. All they have to, if the crackhead says no, they go, okay, call the manager. <laughs> they don't have to do anything. <laughs> it's still a confrontation that they'd rather not have, I uh, guess. Then they get another job, I guess. I, don't I know. suppose. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that fucking hard. They, yeah. they have the easiest job in the store. Yeah. So they can ask a crackhead to leave their bag. <laughs> Anyways. Yes. Uh, and you'll be pleased to know, and the rest of the people will be pleased to know, that we get to reside in the Purple oh, Room Studios. Oh, cheers. <laughs> Tink, ding. Nice. So, um, any other details about which way you had to go? Or you- uh, We had to do the non-traditional mortgage, mm. which is actually all right yeah. by me. I would prefer it's going to be a non-reporting mortgage, which means it's not going to oh, report yeah. to the credit bureau. Uh, I would have liked to have a huge a, deal. It's not a huge deal, but I would like to. I'm on the quest to get my credit score but, as good as possible right but now. But that's only for now. Like when you go to refinance or yeah. you can always get it done then. Yeah. So Yeah. The wife's finances aren't as organized as we would have liked. Okay. So we have that's to okay. work on that over the next couple of years, make sure everything's tickety-boo. Nice. And then we can go back with some proper paperwork nice. and get the mortgage. Uh, 
So you get? Did you get a little extra cash to add an AC unit to this bitch? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was not able to do that. Oh, that's too bad. It's just going to be because so my mortgage is going to be twenty one hundred bucks a month. Okay, well, pretty which is pretty nice. good for this place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the the lot is huge. The lot's yep. worth more than the house. Oh, uh, always is. Always is. <laughs> yeah. But we're I have to deal with some insurance now to see if I can get. I got to get the insurance on the house, and they're going to be like seventy amp panel. Mm, I don't yeah, know about that. yeah. You might have to get that switch. Oh yeah, out. that's the number one thing that's getting done immediately yeah. Yeah, is getting yeah, yeah. that panel switch. That's Probably to a two hundred. Crazy that that's still in here, dude. I know. Even my house has updated electrical. <laughs> <laughs> I know that was going to make it hard for the owner to sell it to somebody else because exactly. it only has 70 amp service. Perfect. And then when do you get your money from him? <laughs> <laughs> that, that should be soon, actually. It's either when he gets, uh, he's nice. been embroiled in a lawsuit. Oh. And so when he gets that. paid out from that, mm-hmm. I'll get money. But also, I'm like, you don't have to. Like, you can wait until the house sells yeah, yeah, yeah. to give me the money. Plus interest. Uh, yeah, whatever. No, plus interest. I'm telling you, plus interest. Get interest. He says he's going to give me interest anyway. So Perfect. That's the way it should be, considering yeah. he was screwing you over here. Yeah. <laughs> I know he's, he's your friend. He's giving us a... St- the, the house is a stellar deal. I, like, know he's given, yeah, I know he's your friend and he's whatever, but the way he did it kind of screwed you over. I little, Maybe a little bit, but... He could have come to you a year ago and yes, said, he could this have. is what's happening. <laughs> Not like, oh, in six months, you're out on your ass, okay? <laughs> I, he could Because he's known for more than a year. He, oh, yeah. Oh, he's for known sure. for more than a year. For sure. Yeah. So, anyways. Yeah. Good deal in the house. Yeah, yeah. As soon as, you know, we make the upgrades, it's just going to skyrocket in value, so. Yeah, oh, yeah. And oh, then, big time. But uh, I don't think I really want to move anytime soon. No, 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 no. And then he was like. Well, this is more than a starter home. Yes. This is a forever home. <laughs> this especially, is like, especially when I get all the renovations yeah. done in here the way I want them. Then it's a forever home. Like my house is a starter house. <laughs> and it's like getting to the time where it's like something's going to have to change here. Yes. Just because it's going to be especially full. <laughs> yes. So something's got to happen. But it's good because like. It's gone up so much since we got it that yeah. when we sell, it'll be like, oh, I need $100,000 for a down payment. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, that'll be good. good yeah, that's cool. Very good. Yeah. Yeah, super, super pleased about that. Nice. And then you can start doing the studio space renting rentings. Maybe. 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 Oh, we'll maybe. Mo- oh. I'm, I'm actually with my current business license for... Mm-hmm. Yeah, for uh-huh. uh, Purple Room Studios, I'm not allowed to have uh, clients in the house. Oh, so I would have ah, to. It's a good thing I'm a lover. Yeah, well, <laughs> you're not you're not paying me to do anything no, no, here. No, no, no. We're we're kind of in this together, and yeah. and yeah, exactly. So yeah, I would have to adjust the business license uh, to get it so that people could come into the house right. and pay me money to use the space. I mean, yeah, I guess so, but like, you, they, pff, no one would even know, really. Yeah, pretty much. Be like, you're just like, that's my friend. Well, it's, again, that's <laughs> I mean, what it, it would, would be, be. Too. You're not going to let a random in here, really. Because, <laughs> so. yeah, there's a. Once I get that other room cleared out, I'm pointing over there mm-hmm. to uh, <laughs> to the other space. Yeah. Once I get that cleaned out, then I can get that built and this cleaned out mm-hmm. so that I can have it can be a more comfortable space. Because right now it's fairly full, full of stuff. A little bit. And a lot of it's going to go out there. Like the computer that we're currently recording on, mm-hmm. the audio and my gaming computer is going to go out there. Oh. And there's just going to be the one computer in here. And this is just going to be purely for podcasts. Oh, yeah. You need a window there. <laughs> yeah. Just a red light <laughs> <laughs> recording. Yeah. That's what I wanted to do was put a put a red light on. But it's so that, you know, people outside would be quiet. But it's uh, it's that's actually not bad. I mean, sometimes I can hear this someone on the stairs or yeah, whatever. Yeah, that's the only thing is that you can hear people on the stairs. I don't think I ever hear any like water running or anything no. like that. So it's pretty quiet in here. Yeah. I mean, I can blast music in here. Yeah. And like I think I said this last yeah, podcast, yeah. but you can barely hear it in the living room. Yeah, yeah. You can feel it more than you can hear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. So yeah, it's, it's a very sound resistant room and yeah. people outside making noise, not an issue. Yes. Yeah, it's just just the stairs make noise, but I don't have any like that closet that's Oh yeah, it's just there. It's, it's just it's just open and there's no insulation in there yet. Yeah. So None of the sound. If that got some in there, it would eliminate that shit. Oh for yeah, sure. for sure. For sure. Cool. Yeah, it's gonna be nice. a big change. It's gonna be great. Nice. I uh I got some winter renovation plans. I got some summer renovation yeah, yeah, plans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll see. We'll see. It's of a lot course. of it's a lot of time and there's a lot of other projects on the go right now that uh yep. 
will hopefully full plate suck up all my time. Well, not hopefully, but they will suck up all my time. Full plate. And one of those projects is, of course, Aegis Mobile Power Washing, oh. which is the power washing company. I've heard of it. And we uh, we have contracts everywhere to do a lot mm -hmm. of other things. Yes. And so one of our uh, once or twice a year contracts is to do awnings and storefronts up at the Yisk area in that uh, okay. building spot. Okay. And so this morning we did the chopped leaf awnings and the booster juice awnings. Oh. Do you do the ISK ones? No. Oh, well. oh, we might, but not this time. Okay, it's just the chop leaf and the and the. Well, I'll tell uh, I'll tell Don that he has to use you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's for the sure. regional manager now. Oh, so. nice. <laughs> yeah, so we were up there like six in the morning, spraying oh, off the awnings. Okay. I was recording the whole thing because nice. we're trying to get more more shorts and stuff going like yeah, that yeah, yeah. to get our, get more advertising out there. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you're using Facebook, you're going to be seeing some advertisements, hopefully, coming yeah. up for that. Nice. Yeah. And we're going to get some newsletters out to people that we've already been with. I'm, I was right, right when you showed up. That's what I was doing. I was designing a newsletter. Nice. To put in there. Nice. Nice. So hopefully that uh, that comes out. Nice. And uh, yeah, if uh, I forgot to mention, mm -hmm. uh, if you're looking for a mortgage, mm -hmm. Andrew Wade. Andrew Wade. Andrew Wade. What an, uh, the, the dude's amazing. Wait a minute. No. He's, okay. out, he's based out of Victoria. Okay. I was going to say, I should have referred you to my cousin. Yeah. Yeah. I never thought of that. <laughs> I hope she's not listening to this podcast today. <laughs> well, I didn't actually, well, I didn't come to you for a referral either. I no, went to, but I went to my would've... old mortgage broker and I was like, Hey, do you have a suggestion for another mortgage broker? Right. She gave me. Andrew Wade and this this guy was he was amazing like he pulled out all the stops was incredibly yeah, helpful just I like worked non-stop mistake. trying to get us his mortgage I made a big mistake yeah <laughs> she would have yeah anyways and we'll just skip over it oh yeah well there you go that that was a huge recommendation Jamie. Me. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah she's probably listening right now <laughs> <laughs> and that's what she does now oh yeah, and she's like is very thorough. <laughs> so she could probably help you out, but she's also new at it too. So she, ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Anyways, well, she hasn't liked the chat, the okay, podcast so. yet, so she's probably not listening. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. And of course, uh -huh. nine arsons. Oh, he was here. But he he's was not here. here right he now. Was, he was bitch. here, and he's not here. He's dead to me. Do you know that? <laughs> I he was didn't supposed know to that. be on the podcast today. And yes, now he's dead to me. He, it was going to be the full Nine Arsons weekend. Yeah. Uh, it was most of a Nine Arsons weekend. Yeah. He showed up last night. No, Friday night. Friday night. And we played some board games. Yeah. Didn't stream it. Well, they're not really board games. There's no board. Uh, yeah, I guess we just played Dominion, which yeah, is all card like game. card game. Yeah. Uh, we played to get uh, Briscoe, who is also here. We, yep. need, we made a four stack. Yep. We had Briscoe, Curb. Uh, nine arsons and myself yeah and we played some basic dominion yep. for the first game and then some extremely advanced dominion for the second and third yeah. game <laughs> yeah we so used I, the new expansion yeah frontiers i think it was yeah i think so oh empires empires yeah, yeah empires yeah super pleased with how that played it was interesting yeah it was interesting i really like the uh the stock the now, stock sets that they had uh written up i didn't now that i think about it i barely looked at the art on the cards yeah, it's I, not. It's not. I couldn't describe art on anything except my little placeholder card that I had <laughs> for putting my victory points on. Ah, uh, yes, that's because you personally picked that yes. one. Yes, but the art on the other ones, I, I mean, I remember there was a picture of a castle and stuff yeah. like that. But it's, it's a mixed bag. And a rat. Some of them, some yeah. of them are really good. Some of them are like, oh, I don't know about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, better results this time than the first time I played Dominion. Yes, but. I mean, I think it was like, well, Mikey was handcuffed. <laughs> well, I, <laughs> when I'm playing with newer people, I don't tend to play the strategies that I would normally play to make it a little bit more fun for everyone, you know? Yeah. I try to like experiment around and not go for like the MLG strats. Yeah, <laughs> major league gaming, exactly. <laughs> I mean, I think I won the last game just because of my chariots. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're getting mad, mad victory points off those. Yeah. My chariot strat. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good strategy. The yeah, chariot strategy. It worked okay. Yeah. Yeah, it was fun. Um, yeah. And, and for people who don't know, Dominion is a deck building card game where you have to build a kingdom uh, from there's a pile of 
of 10 different cards in the middle, each with 10 cards each in it. And these are cards that you can purchase with cards that you already have in your deck. So you start with seven coppers and three estates, and that's what your kingdom comprises of. Yeah. And you use those treasure cards to buy other cards, to expand your kingdom, to hopefully buy uh, all of the kingdom lands. And all the lands are basically victory points. Yeah. Some aren't, though. Some, are some having, aren't, no. Some have no value. Some the have castles, no value. Some of the castles I had yeah. had no intrinsic value, but yeah, there's, they did with, other things. With empires, what, is that what it is, empires? Yeah, it was, it was empires. Yeah, they have uh, stacks of cards where you have to uh, order the cards from lowest cost to highest cost, and yeah. then they're... There are sometimes they're the same and sometimes they're they're different. So you'll, you'll with the castles, you'll start with like a, a two cost castle at the top, yeah. working your way down through the cost, different effects and everything like that to a 10, a ten cost, cost castle yeah. at the bottom. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's an interesting game for sure. Yeah. And this is a I don't know if this is a new kind of thing for this particular expansion or if the previous expansions that I don't have have that as uh, well. Have that as you well. don't have expansions. There's three two. There's either two or three that I don't have with this that came after the last one that the uh, the designer said he was going to do. So he got to this one expansion. And he was like, that's it. I'm not doing anymore. Yeah. And I guess I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden, you know, he, three years later, another expansion comes out. It's like, uh, I thought you were I thought you were done. It's kind of like a game where you could make your own expansion. Oh, yeah, you definitely design could. your own. Yeah. And then maybe that's what it was is. He didn't design it. Someone yeah. else did. Maybe it's a maybe it's a kind of like a Terraria effect where. Yeah, I'm done with it. Actually, just kidding. Actually, just I added kidding. Golfing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. You guys keep buying it and making yeah. tons of money. So here's another expansion. Exactly. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, because that's a, that's one of the things that's going on with Terraria right now is that there was just article. No, it, it, we're not talking about it in the news, but I, but you know we mentioned it here. Yeah. Uh, there's an article that just came out in the Terraria devs are like. We can't move on to other things. You guys are the, yeah. you guys are still making us tons of money by buying this game. Like what exactly. the hell? It's almost like yeah. everyone in the world's gonna have this game. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah, it's like why, you know? Eventually, you'll be like, I'm fucking sick of working on Terraria, but yeah. you know what? That's your job. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally your job to work so on. It's Terraria making you now. so much money. Yeah. If you don't want to work on it, you hire somebody else to do it, and then you rubber stamp it. Like George Lucas, literally, would that's I saw a video of him doing like the prequel movies, yeah. And there was just a table with alien designs, and he just pulled out his little George Lucas stamp and was like, "Yep, chick, I like that one. <laughs> no, not that one, chick, I like that one." <laughs> so yeah, and I would imagine that with the advent of crossplay in this new expansion, oh, yeah. that it's gonna boost sales even more. Of course, like now people are gonna be able to be like, "Hey." Well, you don't have to worry yet. Well, now we can play together. Exactly. I can show you how to play. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. That's, uh, it's, t- it would be tough to get into Dominion now. Yeah. Well, just be like, just f- like the base set and then like 30 expansions. Like, Jesus Christ. I don't, uh, I wonder if the base set even exists right now in like the base set, base set. Cause well, now it's kind of like, like everything's in a big box where you get like th- two or three sets in it. You yeah. get the base set, which is so, not. You'd have to buy like still like 10 boxes to get all the sets. Well, yeah, if you wanted them all, yeah. but you could still just get the original and yeah. be like, oh, yeah, I like this. It's an expensive hobby. <laughs> it is an expensive hobby. The board games. Yes. Cool yes. beans. And then yeah. Saturday. Yesterday. We uh, all I, we set up all the PCs that I had in the house except yeah. for one. Uh-huh. Downstairs in a in a row, yeah, in a kind of a, a land party style, yep. and we played League of Legends. We did. <laughs> I the last time before that when I had played League of Legends, I was like, I hate this game now. I can't <laughs> play this anymore. I'm like, this, I'm done. I'm not playing this again. Yeah, yeah. And then, of course, you had never played it. Yep. And we decided to do this with Kurt, who yeah, big League of Legends, big League of Legends guy. And yeah, we set it up land style. We yep. had four of us downstairs, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah. I actually had a lot of fun. Yeah, it was fun. And teaching, we taught you how to play. Yeah. I, in theory, know how to play. Yeah. Uh, What did you think? I think if I could play with controller, I would have been like five times better. (laughs) Yeah. Just the controls I don't like. I don't like clicking around with the mouse to move around. I hate that. But if I had a D-pad or two analog sticks, oh, it'd be good to go. Oh, and then just the buttons on the shoulders and everything for my abilities. Oh, fuck. I would have been 10 times better. I wonder how last hitting would go with that. What do you mean? Well, because you only get the gold from a creep if you hit it, mm-hmm. do the final hit. Yeah. Right? So? If you're the one who kills it. 
but you have you're you have to be pretty precise on that kind of thing. So I wonder if you you just aim with the right stick. Yeah, but then you got to click on the minion you want. I mean, I mean, because if you just yeah. shoot straight, it's gonna hit the first minion, right? Yeah, I mean, I guess so. I mean, whatever. So you'd be hand- you'd be handicapped that way. Big yeah. fucking deal. I'd be way better fighting a human, like <laughs> controlled yeah. character with the analog stick. Yeah, because you don't need to be worrying about moving your camera around while also moving your character around. I'm while just also like being the clicking shit. I gotta like, anyways. Yeah, there's a lot of. Clicking I think it would be like also probably um, they couldn't do it because the whole point of the, some of the moves is that you have to be looking at the guy to actually do the move. Yeah. So you couldn't like aim it with the right analog stick and then fire off the move. You'd have to yeah. be moving especially, towards them. Especially when you were playing Caitlyn because her ultimate ability is you have to click on the guy who could be all the way across the map. Yeah, I mean, there would be him. like some way to unlock the map and whatever, blah, blah, yeah. blah. But anyways, the controls I hate. I've never liked the clicking to move thing. That's why I like, like, like Path of Exile with the controller way better than playing it with clicking all around this fucking screen. Oh, yeah. I also like Path of Exile yeah. with the controller um, much better. There's also like, you know, it was fine like being like, this is what your buttons do. You're going to want to do this, that and the other thing. But then it's like, I'll hear like, oh, um, watch out. Lucian is doing this. And they'll be like, oh, they're talking <laughs> to you, Curb. And I'll be like, oh, well, I don't know what any of those <laughs> words meant. So like. Or yeah, and it was just like I don't know. Okay, I <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, when I was sitting next to you, while well, you were sitting in between Kurt and I, and then uh, Master was sitting on the end. Yeah, and we were kind of just watching and and also playing and watching you while also playing yeah. and trying to give you, uh, you know, heads up when thing you need to do stuff. Yeah, need to happen. But then you know we would forget. Well, we'd be like, this guy's you gonna, don't know anything. Like <laughs> so and so is gonna alt do this, and it's like, uh, I don't know what that character is. <laughs> Like, I don't know what his alt is going to do either. So it's not, you know, telling me is not going to help me. Anyways. Yeah. Yeah. Um, There's a lot of stuff to get used to. There's a lot of characters to know. Well, and then it also went from I went from like beginner AI to no, it's like absolute novice AI to beginner to AI and then to like level 300 MMR, like unranked players. Yes. So it was like, oh, I died six times in a row to that guy. <laughs> well, you also had a couple of bad matchups up and up in the top row because oh, yeah. you, when you were you were playing Garen and you were playing against Timo, who counters Garen so hard it's ridiculous. Oh yeah. Um, and then it was like trying to be like, oh, you have to buy your gear, and it's like, well, there's like fifty fucking gears to choose here. <laughs> And then it's like, oh, don't forget to buy your potion. And also you have a rune or something like that to put down. And then it's like, okay. And then like I discovered like when you start the match, you can, I had a healing like F was heal or something like that. Yeah. And then I discovered there's like 20 different options you can choose for that. (laughs) And it was like, Jesus Christ, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Yeah, there's a lot of customizability in that, Mm -hmm. but they make it, they've made it a whole lot more noob friendly oh my god because it, it'll suggest you the items yeah. that you should be picking to be like hey this item's good against this person this item's good against this person yeah so and when i was like you know i got pointers from nine arsons and everything and he yeah. coached me a bit but it was kind of like oh you should buy this you buy that item okay but like why <laughs> like what's the i don't understand why i'm doing the things i'm doing like for moves, it was a bit different. Like yeah. it was like, okay, this, if you hit him with this, you hit the button again, and it'll slurp him over to you and we can attack him, whatever. But it was like, oh, you want to buy this item here? Oh, okay. I don't know <laughs> what it did, but all right. Yeah. They've changed the items around so much that I, when I was asking them what items I should buy as well, because yeah. the recommended ones is, are the ones I shouldn't buy. And I was like, hey, why shouldn't, why look, I need to buy these items? Okay, great. I don't know what they do, but sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then I'm like. Whenever I would be back at base and running back towards where I needed to go, I'd be like reading the items, be like, what does this do? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. I, uh, I'm also not used to like playing abilities off of the QWER keys. Yes. So, I mean, I don't, I've not played that many PC games, period, but I kept naturally just going to be, my fingers were on WAD. Yeah. So... And then the keyboard I was using seemed to be very sensitive because all of a sudden I'd be like, I swear I didn't push down the button, but I used the ability like I'm walking back to the battle 
And it's yeah. like, why did my ability go off? <laughs> I swear I didn't push it down, but it must have been just the weight of my finger on there. It was just yeah. enough to like get it to go off. <laughs> so it, it was it was fine. And I think if I played against like more newbie players, it would be better. Yeah. And afterwards, last night when we were watching the movies, Nine Arse has asked me about it. And he's like, oh, maybe I should have made a new account. And then <laughs> that probably would have worked better or whatever. And I'm like, eh, it is what it is, you know? Yeah. I mean, I had my account, but my account's only like level 32. Yeah. Or three or something like that. Because the max level before was level 30. Yeah. That's all you could get to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now it's like Unloaded. uncapped yeah, yeah. rank. But it's based off... Of, it's the MMR is not your level. It's based off of your skill or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And all these games don't have... Like, unranked just means you don't lose ranking, but it's still skill based. Yeah, for sure. Just like in apex legends, which all the like elite players complain about unranked. It's like, it's still MMR. I can't just go in and dominate a lobby and destroy all the noobs. It's like, yeah, no yeah. shit. They want people to continue playing the game. Dumbass. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so we had, we had Matzner who is extremely good at league and I'm, you know, I'm okay at league and yeah. Kurt's okay at league. Yeah. So it, it kind of balanced out. Like we made yeah, a well, lot we of teams them quit. All but one. Yeah. I think there were two that we lost okay. when we were playing against people. Yeah, and they all quit all the time. Yeah. And they all just, they were like, no, surrender. Yeah. Like the first, <laughs> the first game where we played humans, I was playing Timo top and it was that same situation where when you were Garen playing against Timo, mm -hmm. I was Timo playing against another guy yeah. and I just bullied that guy right out of lane and he never came back. Oh no. He was like, no, I'm not going up there. <laughs> Somebody else go up there. <laughs> Like, yeah yep i mean when we were fighting that one i kept him from taking the tower but he yeah. just kept killing me mm -hmm. not like repeatedly like you know every time i ran over there but we'd fight for like a couple minutes and then he'd kill me yeah and i mean i took him down half health or whatever but i could never finish him off so yeah that guy is that that was tom kench and he's oh he's yeah so freaking tanky yeah like after because whenever you die he gets 300 gold Oh, and yeah. so that allows him to get all kinds of items and whatnot. So, but he'd only gone back one time. Yeah, by the time I died like five times, <laughs> <laughs> so that allowed him to really muscle up and dominate the rest of the field. That was one of the ones that we lost. Yeah, Tom Kench was just he was too powerful. Yeah, I was like, I'm going in there. I'm going to kill him. I'm doing nine percent of his max HP every second. Yeah, and I was like, Holy Christ! <laughs> he just tanked through the entire thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so yeah, it was interesting, anyways. Yeah, I had lots of fun. Not a picture was taken. Nobody got to see the setup, but it was four, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. four PCs all in a row. Yep. <laughs> it was great. Yeah, it was a good time. Lots of fun. Yep. Uh, and then you guys had movie night? Yeah, we did movie night. Nine Arsons joined me on the jouch and we did uh, Little Shop of Horrors. That was his uh, request. And then I also did um, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, which was, I've seen, I'd seen those ones like years and years yeah, yeah. ago. Like, probably in the 90s, basically. And then uh, I had a, a goal to get five subs. And if I did, it would be a third movie. So we reached the goal, and uh, Nine Arse had stayed around for the third movie. We watched Cat People, which is about uh, people that turn into panthers if they get horny. <laughs> <laughs> it's an interesting movie. It's had uh, a bunch of people in it, like John Larroquette was in it. Um, uh other people that i can't remember natasha kinski was in it her dad is a notoriously terrible person oh yeah <laughs> he's an actor that was like he would assault people and just oh. beat people up on set and just a notorious asshole um and uh yeah it was interest. it was good i liked it i've seen it before i'd seen them all before but cat people i'd seen more recently um i enjoyed it so yep. it was good good yep yep yeah, nice. And then I watched one other thing. I don't know why I started watching it, but on Disney Plus or Netflix, I don't remember. There's a show called The Watcher. Oh, yeah. I'd seen it on there and I was like, that sounds kind of corny, whatever. But then I was like, oh, it's from Ryan Murphy, who did American Horror Story. So I was like, OK, I can check that out. I like him. And it's like it's like kind of American Horror Story, but like if it was on ABC. Mm -hmm. So it's like no gratuitous violence or sex. Not that it's gratuitously sexy on FX, but it's sexier than you would see on ABC or yeah, whatever. Yeah. 
And it's about a family that buys a house in the suburbs and it's just a, their neighbors are all weird and there's weird <laughs> shit going on in the house. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, you know, the alarm goes off in the middle of the night and then they, you know, the ferrets, the pet ferrets found dead and then whatever. You know, there's a weird handicapped neighbor who just comes in their house and looks at a hi. <laughs> <laughs> just a bunch of weird stuff going on in it. But it's got Naomi Watts in it. And uh, I can't remember who plays her husband, but he's he's a cool guy, too. Huh. So I watched a few episodes just to check it out and uh, I might continue it. It's interesting, but it all, kind of also feels like lost a bit where it's just like they I don't know if they know what they're doing. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's like, oh, that was creepy. But are they going to be able to like explain it in a way that's satisfying? <laughs> Not like lost where it's just like, uh, what the fuck? Yeah. So uh, what time did you guys finish watching movies last night? Oh, like 1 a.m., uh, something yeah. like that, One thirty. Yeah, so uh, there is a missing person in this podcast, 9R. Yes. was supposed to be here. And uh, yeah, he went home, I don't know when, Oh, sometime really? last this morning. Oh, you didn't I, even see him? No, I woke up at 6.30 to go do the Ampow stuff. Yeah. I went down, I looked downstairs, I was like, oh, the lights are on. I went downstairs, and like, everything cleaned up, he's gone. Wow. He I, he I he wasn't sleeping very well. He couldn't get to sleep or something. I don't know. He didn't have a good night's sleep. Crazy. Probably just woke up, couldn't get back to sleep. And so he was just like, fuck it, I'm out of here. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. It was like, it was after one for sure. Yeah. So yeah. late night. Oh, yeah. Probably had too much energy drink. No, he didn't drink oh. anything. Oh, interesting. Like literally nothing. Literally nothing? Not even a water? Nothing. And he ate. A, like half a pizza <laughs> wow yeah it was crazy i offered him drink and everything and he's like no i'm good so, huh, okay okay <laughs> it wasn't like it was hot in the basement so yeah it's not like he was sweating or anything so. he did bring me and oh. austin are uh, in my hands i'm currently holding a magic the gathering lord of the rings tales of middle earth collector's booster box oh my god how much now, did that cost the sticker price on this says five seventy four ninety nine. Oh my god! And how much did you pay for it? Uh, with tax, it was six fifty. Oh my god! So Matster and I split this box. Yeah, and we will be opening it shortly. Nice on stream. Oh, very good. Not on any channel anyone's familiar what? with, but it will be announced the channel oh that it will be being god. streamed on. Crazy. And it will not be here that it gets streamed. Oh, my God. Weird. That's crazy. <laughs> um, so when you open that there, you're hoping to get some Elven Rings. We're hoping to get some Elven Rings, some serialized one of 300 Elven Ring. Like the one of 300 is probably going to be like super money. Uh, yeah. The 69 of 300 is probably going to be like super money. Uh, oh, dude. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> um, so when you pull an Elven Ring that's serialized, are you going to submit it to be... Graded? Graded. Yes. And which company are you going to use? I don't know. Okay. Because it would have to be shipped down to them. Yeah. Yeah, it'll get, uh, we'll be, uh, you know, it'll go straight in a sleeve, straight in a hard case. Yeah. And then shipped off. Okay. We'll be like, there you go. And then when it comes back, we'll be like, there you go. We Depending on what number it is, of course. If you got any serialized ring, you wouldn't. Uh, it would probably go on the wall. Okay. But you would get it graded? In a certain location. Probably you get would... graded, yeah. Get sun faded, dude. Hmm? Get sun faded. Sun faded? Yeah. Yeah. It's on the wall. That's true. We have to put it behind some like UV protective UV lighting. UV protective lighting. Um, yeah, I think you should get it graded. Yeah. 10.0, so it- baby. Imagine <laughs> that doubles the value. I don't know. Because the one ring got pulled at a nine. Yeah, but. It was graded at nine. I saw that that was done by. I don't remember which company did it. I don't. We have. A, did, I didn't put the story on here, but yeah, they graded a um, Pokemon card a ten. Some, I don't know. It was a cat, like a Persian or something like that. Yeah. But someone had drawn a penis on the card, <laughs> like on the cat's forehead. It, yeah. There was a penis. It looked kind of like it was supposed to be part of the card, but it was still graded a ten. <laughs> <laughs> uh, PSA. Yeah. PSA. Yeah. 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 So there you go. It, the grading is like up to human error. Yes, hundred percent. It's up to whoever's grading it's discretion. Yeah. So it's too bad about the one ring. They can't resubmit that one. Nope, that's it. Everyone knows it's a nine. You can't <laughs> yeah. be like crack it and be like, I'll resubmit it. See yeah. if I get a better rating. <laughs> or imagine they did and they did it, give it a different rating. That's it it would have gone down. But if it's higher, would have been an eight. 
But what if they go higher? They just like, whoever opens it that day is like, oh, they don't know. <laughs> whatever, whatever it's rated, the 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 price of that card does not change. No, but like yeah, no, but yeah, but it's different with the one ring. Yeah, because it's only one. Different. But if I had like an expensive card, a black lotus, and I cracked it and resubmitted it, yeah. you'd get a better score, probably. And they wouldn't know. Yeah. So. But the one ring, it's kind of like, I know that's a nine. Yeah. I already saw it. <laughs> There's <laughs> only one. <laughs> I already know it's a one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or a nine, sorry. Yeah. Cool. Other other than everything that just happened that we just spoke about, I played one video game. Ooh. Uh, well, I played a couple, actually. You liar. Yeah, game Club. Yeah. But uh, the only one I'm going to talk about today is Wall World. Wall World? What the fuck War is War World? Wall World. War Wor- Wall World is uh, a... Like, there is a game that came out called Dome Keeper, which I talked about before, where you keep a dome, you have to go underneath the dome, oh, you have to mine artifacts Oh, I told artifacts you about out. this one. Yeah. I remember, but you're climbing up the wall, right? Yeah, so yeah. you have Dome Keeper, you're stuck in one spot. You go into the mine, yeah. you find an artifact, you get out, that's the game. Yeah. Uh, you can upgrade your dome, get all these weapons, all these abilities and stuff to help you mine faster, and you upgrade by using the materials and minerals that you pull out of the ground. You spend those to upgrade your dome, your weapons, your mining speed, and all yep. that kind of stuff. Wall, wall world, exactly the same. Yeah. Except it's vertical, yep. and you're on a wall. And you yep. have a spider mech that crawls up and down the wall and to go to different sections of the mine. Yeah. And different spots in the wall, different mines have different minerals in them. Yeah. So your basic one just has the two minerals. And you can get all kinds of upgrades out of there as well. And then you use that to upgrade your spider yeah. mech, make it go faster, make it shoot more, get minor- other weapons, which you can switch between. But then, you know, you can go up or you can go down. And it goes up or down infinitely, as far as I can tell. Yeah. And you have a 25-minute timer. And once the 25-minute timer is up, the Elder Torah comes out. And oh, no. You. <laughs> so you got to try and get as far as you can within that 25 minutes in order to be able to defeat the Elder Torah <gasps> for, or, you know, hold it off until the next time. Yeah. But I think I like Wall World better mm-hmm. because it has a sense of exploration. You're not always in the same mind the entire time trying to go deeper and deeper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is a limit to how far you can go. And then if you want to upgrade your stuff more, you have to find a mine with a certain material in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is which I like a whole lot more than how Dome Keeper works. Yeah. But also it has a roguelike element where once you're dead, you go back to the start, but then you can up. There are other things there you can up use to upgrade your spider. So every block you destroy, you get like one little upgrade unit, whatever the heck they are, sand points. I don't know. <laughs> <Sand> <laughs> and you use those in the thousands to upgrade your spider mech. Nice. Which which I like more. And then you just go off again and do your thing and try and get further. Fun. Yeah, I really like that. Yeah, I thought you were gonna like it when I spotted that however long ago yeah that's cool i yeah i really liked dome keeper when i played it but i don't know wall world just a lot better actually i forgot i played one game too oh i oh i guess i you also played i also played gunfire capitalist or something like that yeah i played you know some adventure capitalist but mainly i played wall world and gunfire Gunfire reborn tell me about your gunfiring we uh master and i have managed to beat it on elite Mm -hmm. which was a feat Okay, but we uh, we've also found this combination with the canine character. His ultimate ability is dual wield, but he also has all kinds of all kinds of upgrades that work off of that. So you can get it so that your uh, your ultimate ability, or your I guess it's not an ultimate ability; it's your primary ability. It will go forever. Every oh. every fifty shots you fire will add two seconds to the timer. And then other abilities give you attack speed, but and then other abilities give it so that you refill your ammo instantly. Oh, yeah. So you never run out of ammo. You have inf- a huge amount of attack speed. So you're constantly gaining two seconds on top of your ability timer. So it doesn't run out. Oh, yeah. And if you use a weapon that only has one shot in it. Mm-hmm. So I use kunai, which is just throwing knives around yeah. the entire thing. Uh, it, it's just forever. It just lasts forever. You never run out of ammo. You just keep going. Nice. And so it's just infinite amounts of damage. <laughs> nice. And yeah, that allowed us to beat it on Elite. 
It was crazy. Nice. The big bad boss at the end is crazy. He's uh he's pretty powerful. Big just like a big uh Warcraft style end boss with like uh bullet hell oh, kind of yeah. elements to it. Returnal? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, more like a Returnal boss. Okay. Big open stage and yeah. he's just flying around jumping around bullet hell all over the place. Except it, first person. Yeah, except first person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it's like uh, yeah, it was really fun. We powered through that. Crazy. Now we're now we're on Nightmare. <gasps> A nightmare has been kicking our ass. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, I wish you the best. Thank you. Um, I don't think I'm gonna try that one. I'd probably enjoy it, but yeah, whatever. You need to be a, a roguelike enjoyer. I mean, I kind of am, depending on the roguelike, I guess. Uh, I played a game, not as good as the one you played. It's called Avengers. It's <laughs> atrocious. <laughs> I played it before multiplayer, like a long time ago on stream yep, one yep. time, which was fine. It was kind of just like a beat 'em up with multiplayer but like playing the campaign of this game is just a chore yeah like you start as kamala khan which is fine whatever i like miss marvel and but the problem is is like oh i have to get away from i don't know star labs or whatever i'm skipping the story because whatever (laughs) and it's like i'm a superhero but now i have to sneak through the level and if i get spotted it's game over restart from the checkpoint And that's not fun in any game for me, but it's especially not fun in a game where you're supposed to be a superhero. Yeah. And it's like, why don't I just kill them all? They're just robots. Like, let me kill them all. (laughs) But no, you can't do it. So there's a lot of that sneaking. And then when you do fight, you're kind of like, you're kind of wimpy, you know? Yeah. But then when you get your like superpower, then it's really fun where you're like, (laughs) When you're Kamala Khan is Miss Marvel and it's like, oh, I've got my full meter so I can embiggen and I grow oh, really yeah. big. And then I'm like, I'm like five times as big of the guys and I'm kicking the guys and they're <laughs> flying and I kick and I destroy like all the con- shipping containers and all this stuff. And it's just explosions. It's like, oh, yeah, OK. But that lasts for 30 seconds. <laughs> and then you're back down to be small Miss Marvel and you can make your fist bigger. Ah. And it's the same thing with the Hulk. You're the Hulk. And it's like, whoa, OK. I'm punching guys and, you know, I'm punching a human and it's, I got to punch him five times to knock him out. Like, I'm the Hulk. <laughs> Literally then, the Hulk. But then it's like, oh, rage time. And it's like, oh, fucking I'm like picking up pieces of the ground and I'm doing huge <laughs> hand claps and just destroying shit. And then it's like, yeah, this is pretty fun. And that lasts for 30 seconds. Yeah. And it's just like, ugh. and it is like the dollar store. Like, I know like the Marvel Cinematic Universe versions of the Avengers is like. The movie version. Yeah. But in the game, it's like, oh my God, this is the great value version of the (laughs) Avengers. Like, I know Thor traditionally in the comic books would speak like with a bunch of vows and all that, you know? Yeah, yeah. You didn't have to do that in the game. Like, you can have them talk like the movie Thor. Like, that just makes more sense, you know? (laughs) And then Tony Stark is looks like a... Oh, just their dollar store, dude. <laughs> Kamala Khan, I find, is okay because she kind of just looks like a normal girl. Yeah. But you're kind of, I mean, we've only seen her in the one show, too. So it's kind of like we haven't, you know, seen Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man for 10 years. You yeah. Because when he takes off his helmet and he talks, you're just like, oh, God. <laughs> Who's this guy? Yeah. So, anyways, <laughs> I've been playing it just to get achievements because I needed to get some achievements for my game pass quest yeah and i played it on game pass and unlocked some achievements unfortunately so <laughs> i was like okay i better do this one before it gets shut down permanently yeah because they've unlocked everything in it yeah. like you go to the costume screen you can put on any costume they're all unlocked yeah you know you still level up and you whatever but it doesn't cost money anymore so there you go it's gonna go away yeah yeah, so. art, it's hard to do an Iron Man now because RDJ is so iconic as Iron Man. And the yeah. world knows that face as being the well, face of Iron Man. Jarvis is a specific voice now. And, yeah. Well, I guess it's different for Endgame. It was a woman, wasn't it? Yeah, well, because the cause Jarvis, is Jarvis vision. Went, his vision, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that's, of course, uh, Paul Bentley. Yeah. Love that guy. Bethany. Bethany, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so... It's I don't recommend that game at all, (laughs) even if you like Marvel. Yeah. Well, maybe you'd like it more if you like Marvel, but anyway, you just don't 
games where the superhero games where you don't feel like a badass superhero that's that's not it. that's not it yeah like in the batman games uh, he's not really he's just He's, he's just Batman. His just power is he's, he's rich. just a dude. But when he's fighting in the like Batman like fighting style in that game, where you can see the attacks coming and you can block them and everything, you feel like such a badass. Yeah, the whole time. Yeah. Where in this one, it was like I have to punch this robot like fifteen <laughs> times. Oh my god! With Batman, it makes sense because you know he's just a guy. But even he's in just that, he only punches muscles. him a few times yeah. and knocks him out because then he'll like do a like choke hold and knock him out or yeah. whatever. With the Hulk, you should just be one shotting everyone every time. And it, it's yeah, but they. <sighs> but then it's like it's game balance. It's game, but even then, it would be way more fun that way. It's yeah. obviously they designed it this way because they want you to buy the EXP booster so you level up faster, so you're more strong. Like they, you can tell that's why they built the game that yeah, way. Yeah. But it's not fun. Maybe someone else would enjoy it, but I'm just like, ugh. Yeah. No, I feel like. When you're playing a superhero game, you need to feel like a superhero. If you yeah. feel like you need to be buying stuff just to feel like a superhero yeah. and not, you know, <laughs> it doesn't come with the superhero game being a superhero. Yeah. That's stupid. Yeah. There's flying enemies and you have to use projectiles to take them down. And Miss Marvel's projectiles, she just shoots her fist out a long way yeah. and hits them. Hulk just leaps on them, smashes them to the ground. No, and then he picks done. up a rock and throws it nah, at them. That's that's too much. For Hulk. That's too much thinking. For well, Hulk. he's kind of like s- smart Hulk. Right? Oh, okay. He's not like super smart Hulk, but he can like understand. And he's not just up here destructive. <laughs> yeah. Like he doesn't smash Miss Marvel when they meet. No. So he would. <laughs> Dep- well, non smart Hulk would. Anyway. Depending on the uh, situation. Yeah. Yeah. Puny exactly. human, after all. Yeah, exactly. I just saw that incredibly in puny human. I don't remember what game it was. Oh, I think it was in Yakuza. There was that exact move was done to me. <laughs> I <laughs> yeah. think Mr. Shakedown did it to me. Oh. Or something. I can't remember. But I, I was like, oh, God, that's like when Loki got <laughs> smashed. <laughs> did you manage to beat Mr. Shakedown yet? Uh, I almost did. But yeah. Anyways. I have avoided him like the plague the entire game. Usually when I see him, he's passed out. But anyways, we'll oh, talk yeah, about that later. Yeah, for sure. But right now, let's talk about uh, uh, Secret Invasion. Oh, right. I forgot we watched that. <laughs> no, oh, we my. didn't. You didn't watch no, it? No, neither of us did. <laughs> no, I did, I did, did watch you? it. I didn't get a chance to watch it. Oh, I did watch so it. So you did watch it. Oh, I didn't yeah, think I you would have. I, I, for- I completely forgot. No, I remembered and I watched it. All right, let's uh, let's save it. Well, we can talk about the two episodes next time. Yes. Uh... It continued the trend, I'll say that. <laughs> so you didn't like it, I'll like it. All I mean, right. it was fine, <laughs> but anyways. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about something near and dear to our hearts, though. Okay. Patreon.com oh. forward slash stream void pod. I've heard of it. Yes, you can get in there. You can throw money at the screen. You could support these two guys in this basement studio that is painted purple uh, doing what they like to do. Yes. Which is talking to you and giving you uh, boundless entertainment for boundless. hours at a time. Okay. Hours at a time. Not wow. just hour. Hours. Hours. Okay. That's right. If you uh, are a Patreon, you get access to all the pre-show content, the post-show content, the stuff that nobody gets to hear content, which is amazing stuff. Some of the best Some stuff, of the best stuff we've stuff. ever done. You can hear, <laughs> you can literally hear Curb Stomped eat a McChicken. Yeah, you can hear that, but there's also some other insightful things. Yeah, we do. Things that yeah, we do talk a little bit more candidly in those opening segments, I would say. Candidly, eh? yeah, and before we go live, we talk a little bit more candidly about things that are happening. Uh, more sometimes. broad stuff, I think. Yeah, less stuff that has to do with less this, focused. and more. Yeah. And it can be, yeah, a little bit more candid. Yeah, we talk about cum a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so if that's something you're interested in, <laughs> Patreon.com forward slash Stream Void Pod. As little as a dollar a month. Yep. Pre-show content, post-show content, uh, videos that, you know, only the Patreons get to see. Pa- those, some might say Patreon exclusives. Exactly. <laughs> and uh, I think we got a new Patreon uh, this last week here. We did. Yes. So shout out to Hood. Very good. Thank you for signing up. Yes. Thank you so much. I will pleasure you IRL if I see you. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> 